Good morning. We are in Canby, Indiana this morning at a very special program called, may I read your shirt? Absolutely. May I read your shirt? Horses, Horseshoes of Hope, John Lambert, good morning, sir. Good morning. This is your, you founded this organization. Yes, sir, I did. And it's about helping kids with disabilities through the use of horses, not unlike some other programs, That's right? That's exactly like, right. Yeah, okay. But, Tell, we, but we do help children and adults mm. with disabilities, and we also help veterans and their families. What was the thing that, and we're watching now the kids prepping their horses. Yeah. Tell us what made you decide to do this. You had a lot of horses, and you weren't doing anything with them in this realm. That's correct. Yeah. For several years, I did a lot of competitive riding. I had a breeding and training program. Mm -hmm. and uh, But I always had a deep feeling to be able to use my horses to help people. Mm -hmm. And one morning, about 11 o'clock, a lady knocked on my door at home and she was from the Census Bureau. And she gathered some information that was needed for her report. And then we started talking and she asked me what I did with my horses. And I told her I used to do some competitive things mm -hmm. with them, but I really had a desire to help them, to use them to help people. Well, the whole expression on her face changed and she started that's, sharing that's with me a story, story yeah. about the fact that she had a 12, has a 12-year-old boy who is on the autism spectrum. And for the last two years, she and her husband had been taking him out to Greenfield, Indiana for equine therapy. And that therapy had changed his life significantly and also the life of their family. And changed yours when and you changed, heard that story. And changed me, mine too. Okay, so really quickly, because we're running out of time here, the importance of the kids getting the horses ready is part of the therapy. It's very much a part of the therapy because they're learning how to take care of their horse properly. And when we walk over to the horse arena, they're, you're going to see what they're, how we teach them how to ride. And we're going to do that right now. Yes, sir. We'll be back in the next hour.